Welcome to Salient Training's Best Practices videos. Today, we'll be discussing the Open Network Video Interface Forum, or more commonly known as ONVIF. If you're unfamiliar with ONVIF, it's a set of protocols that create a standard for communication between IP-based security products like cameras, encoders, NVRs, and video management systems like CompleteView. In other words, ONVIF is the way that Salient enables you to use any camera you want, and it's an important part of our commitment to an open platform. So let's get started. All right, ONVIF provides multiple profiles that camera and client manufacturers build into their products to support different types of technology. ONVIF Profile S is the primary profile for video surveillance. It covers the basic functions of device discovery, video streaming, PTZ control, device configuration, incoming audio, input, output, and camera-based events such as motion detection and basic analytics. CompleteView is currently conformant with ONVIF Profile S, but ONVIF's structure allows flexibility for members to add specific features from other profiles. We've already added the capability of H.265 streaming from Profile T, and we're working on adding other Profile T features, along with features from Profile M and G, to enhance CompleteView's capabilities and allow you to utilize the camera technology features you invested in. Now with ONVIF comes some benefits. One of those benefits is broad camera support. With ONVIF, you can choose from over 40,000 different cameras and devices. You can use almost any camera with CompleteView. We say almost because there's always some unique camera that solves a unique problem that is not ONVIF conformant or even an ONVIF conformant camera with a special feature that may not be supported by ONVIF. If you happen to find yourself in that situation, contact Salient Technical Support. They'll forward your request to get that camera or feature working with CompleteView onto our development team. Another benefit with ONVIF is that you can use newly released cameras immediately. While it's impossible for us to test each camera model released yearly by every manufacturer, we do test every camera provided to us to validate support of ONVIF features. When any manufacturer releases new cameras, the model is Profile S conformant, your customer buys it, you can use that camera with CompleteView. So the variable in these is whether or not the camera is conformant with ONVIF Profile S. How do you tell? There's a few ways that you can check. First, you can look at the camera data sheet and see what information that contains. You can visit the manufacturer's website and look for ONVIF compliance there. You can check Salient's supported camera list from the Salient website and see if your camera appears on our list. And finally, you can visit onvif.org where you can check for conformance for any camera and any device. Here we are at the ONVIF website. In the top right, you'll see a link to conformant products. Click the link and then scroll down to the product search area. In the application type, device refers to cameras, encoders, or NVRs, and client refers to video management systems or other software. We're gonna look for a camera, so I'll select device. And then the profile section, since complete view is conformant with profile S, I want to select that profile. I can search for a manufacturer and then either enter in the product name or the product model number for your camera. I'm going to enter a model number here, select search. And here's my results. I can see my model number right there. That camera is compliant with profiles G, S, and T. So since it has that profile S conformance, this camera, even though it's brand new, it was just approved, uh, it will work with complete view. Another benefit with ONVIF is multi-streaming support. Multi-streaming is an important function in modern surveillance systems. The vast majority of cameras support using multiple simultaneous streams for efficiency and flexibility. In complete view, you can use a low res, low frame rate stream for normal continuous recording. 
When properly configured, you can use motion detection and shift to record a separate high frame rate, high resolution stream. You can also shift to a third configured stream when an alarm is triggered. This helps save on storage space since you don't need to record high res, high frame rate video when nothing is happening, but you'll be recording that high quality video when something does. In complete view, taking advantage of multi-stream recording can only be done using the OnVIF driver when adding cameras. Now we'll talk about some tips and tricks when you're using OnVIF. Every camera is different, even from the same manufacturer and in the same family of products. How they respond to OnVIF queries from the recording server can and will vary. Most of the time, you can add cameras using the OnVIF driver in complete view with no effort at all. Everything works as advertised, and you can finish your deployment quickly and easily. But sometimes, and this is rare, the cameras in complete view just don't want to play nice. So here are some tips to make everything behave. The first on our list is time sync. OnVIF relies on a reliable connection with the camera to function properly. That connection requires proper time synchronization between the camera and the recording server. Before adding the camera to complete view, log into the camera's configuration webpage and set the time so that it's synchronized with the recording server. Now the best practice for this is to configure your cameras and the recording servers to use a network time protocol or NTP server to synchronize the time. This is your most accurate and consistent time sync setting. Alternatively, if the feature is available, you can set the camera to sync directly with the recording server by looking for an option that shows sync with PC, host, or server. This feature may or may not be available in your camera interface. The last resort is adjusting the time manually. Manual is not preferred, but it does work. Just be aware that if the time drifts on either your server or your camera over weeks or months, it will create connection issues. Our next tip is patience. When adding cameras, be patient. You'll know that your camera is successfully added with all the bells and whistles necessary when you can see video in the preview window in complete view. You can see the OnVIF stream profiles and you can see the camera details in the device info pane. Now, occasionally this can take a few minutes for the full connection to occur. And once again, you just need to be patient and let it happen. Now, if you've been patient and your camera still hasn't connected within a few minutes, we have some tech tips for you. Just follow these steps. On the camera connect screen, uncheck the camera enable box, save the configuration, then re-enable the camera and save the configuration again. This should prompt a resync with the server and the camera and hopefully you'll see all the information that you need from that, including your video, the profiles, and the device info. Our next tip is OnVIF users. While most cameras can be added to complete view using a default admin or root account, some camera manufacturers require the creation of a separate OnVIF user. All right, to configure or add an OnVIF user, You'll just open up the camera's web page and locate your OnVIF configuration area. Different camera manufacturers and models have different locations for the settings and different configurations, so be sure to check your camera's documentation. For this camera, adding users is easy. I'll locate my OnVIF config, select it from the list, and here's my empty users. I'll go down below that, select Add, enter in a username, the password and verify the password. And then I wanna make sure that the user has administrative privileges. So I'll check that box, select okay. And now I've created my OnVIF user with admin privileges. I'm good to go for complete view with that. Our next tip is passwords. 
specifically passwords with special characters. Occasionally, special characters can cause issues with authentication. So if you ever see a message in the Complete View dashboard indicating that the camera rejected the credentials, first, check that the password you entered is correct, and if it is, then try removing or substituting special characters with regular characters. Another tip is enabling OnVIF. Some cameras require you to turn OnVIF on as a feature. Check your camera manufacturer's user manuals or websites if you need to do this and how to do so. Our last tip is call your lifeline. When all else fails and you just cannot get your camera working properly on Complete View, don't despair. Call or email our tech support team and they are happy to help you get the job done. If you found this video helpful, follow us for more best practices videos. And if you have comments on our videos, send an email to training at salientsys.com. Thanks for watching.